uh, being a veteran in the advisory industry, you have trained thousands of advisors in the journey. We know that. Uh, what would be some of your key takeaways that you would want to share with our viewers, uh, which comes from your experience and expertise? See, first of all, advisors should attend the annual meets which happen, right? A lot of annual meets happen uh, by advisor association. You should go there and actively participate because that's the place where you're going to meet a lot of people from your own uh, uh, profession. You're going to meet the whole industry, you know, five, six, seven or ten mutual funds would come, their CIOs would come, they would talk, so make notes, see what is happening. Mix with people who are not from your region. No, no point in going with five friends and sticking around with them for the whole conference. Don't do that. You know, spread out, speak to people, make notes, attend the conference. I mean, I'm not saying you'll attend every session, but try to attend 70-80% of the sessions. Don't go to a previous day party and get drunk and not attend the next day. Don't do that. Keep learning because you're going to learn more from here than from just reading. There are enough websites, videos, etc. available. Set aside time for learning, you know, maybe one hour a day, maybe half an hour a day or something like that. <laughs> the only thing which you must do is talk to clients. You know, relationships are made by talking to clients. So build your relationships, make sure that you delegate everything else, right? So you want to work 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day should be spent sitting in front of the client everything else can be outsourced right get some boy or girl try to uh, do your crm of course some of the crm you will do if some forms have to be filled you will fill because uh, not 100 percent of uh, transactions happen digitally so some basic things have to be done uh, this is the month of april so everybody is asking for capital gain statement though annual statement though so that's a good time for you to react and interact with people and say this fund has given so much, so should we remove? This fund has given so much, should we? You know, your goals are nearby. Your daughter's uh, you know, 12th standard is 2025. Do you want to remove money and keep it in a <clears throat> less volatile fund? Because if she gets into engineering, you're going to need 20 lakhs or 25 lakhs, right? So understand the goals, understand the client's requirement very well, then talk to the client. Fix up an appointment, make it very serious, uh, preferably call the client over to your office. If the client insists that it should be done in their office, make sure that the client is sitting with his wife and children so that, I mean, any child above 14 understands all this. So why should the child not be involved? Because it is for them. So these are the basic things. Then make sure that the paperwork is perfect. Every nominee is there. The bank uh, account number is written correctly, right? All those things you keep checking. Uh, and if there is some change in the client's life, you know, he has had a kid or he's had a divorce, he's lost his parent, <clears throat> then make sure that the nominees are current, right? You know, when a, when a boy or a girl starts investing at the age of 22, 23, they're normally not married. So the mother would be the nominee or the father would be the nominee. Then the person gets married. Let's say the boy gets married at 30 or 32. That's a time to change the nomination because two things may happen. The mother may have died. Or if the mother is alive, you may still want your wife to be the nominee, right? So making all those changes, believe me, all those things are far more important than saying, oh, this quarter uh, steel will do well, this quarter sugar will do well. You don't know. Stop guessing. Don't guess what returns which fund will give. Understand asset allocation. Sit with the client. Tell the client, look, if the returns are lower and your goals are fixed, the only thing you can do is you can increase your contribution. There is nothing else. Uh, uh, you No point in blaming uh, uh, a Modi or a Shinde or Biden. You can keep doing all that. But if you want money for your goals and the returns are less, then you have to put more money. It's as simple as that. No point in saying, oh, markets are doing so badly. I'm getting less returns. Should I withdraw? No, that's a time when you should be drawing, uh, putting more. Uh, historically, people who have stayed invested during bad periods have benefited a lot uh, because of uh, investing during bad times. Uh, will it always happen? I don't know. We, because we normally put a clause saying uh, past performance is not an indicator of future performance. So we don't know. But largely, that should work. Be prepared for the market going down. The market will go down 30-40% once in 10 years. 10% uh, once in 2-3 years, 5% almost every year, it will fluctuate by 5% and 1% it could do every week, right? <clears throat> Market could go down 1% then go up 1%, right? Annually, it may be only 10%, but in every day, it can go up 1%, 2%, come down. Be ready for volatility, you know, like uh, when you sit in a plane, 
they tell you that uh, you're going to have a safe journey. Don't worry, but that could be trouble. <clears throat> so if it's very bad, then oxygen, uh, the mask will drop from the up and just wear it on your uh, nose and breathe normally. It's never happened to me, but uh, I fly pretty frequently and say, "Ek baar to hoga, but hua nahi hai." But when you are talking to investors, tell them there could be trouble. Don't tell them, "Oh, life is fantastic. Nothing will happen." Prepare them for it, right? So last forty years. When I've been traveling by air, not even once has that uh, mask dropped. But every time the aerostat tells you, right, the, it could happen in case of an emergency. What should you do? Where is the emergency exit? So yes, sir, it is important for you to know. You may not need it. You may not need that oxygen mask, but at least you should know that there could be violence, there could be fluctuation. Any of these things could happen. But just stay invested in the long run. It helps. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.